after understanding the methodology of separable variables method in which we solve the nonlinear differential equation by using the simple integration process now we are going to do the economic application of it and the economic application in this case deals with the dynamics of capital that we will see that how capital will change over time this is a function which defines the national product that is national product depends on time over time it can increase capital is also defined with the help of time that over time capital will change the capital stock is being represented with k labor will also change over time l is a function of time that is the number of workers in a country will also change over time suppose that for all t greater than capital um, t is greater than and equal to zero it means that t is a positive value and uh, zero possibility is also there so it is a non-negative value yes we know that uh, time is a non negative value it cannot turn negative it can be zero that is now and it can be positive that is something in future so um, let's get to it x is equal to uh, k into labor and in their square root form this is the first in equation that is given as you can see output depends upon labor and capital this is true for a firm and in this case this is for the whole economy so this is a macroeconomic production function this is about the rate of change of capital over time but in this case uh, we have its value as well that is 0.4 into x that is 40% uh, of the amount of the national product and this is labor function which is dependent upon time so we can derive the uh, capital uh, equation and then we can observe its dynamics as required in this economic application we are also informed about the initial level of capital which is 10,000 now this is the output uh, function which is Cobb Douglas production function because we know the standard form of a Cobb Douglas production function is uh, like this so it is resembling the Cobb Douglas production function secondly we have the capital function and it shows that investment is proportional to output as we can see that output determines the level of capital that is the um, the accumulation of the investment over time now this is labor and labor also changes over time and it is showing the exponential growth of labor it's an economy where the growth of labor is exponential now we start with the uh, middle equation because we want to talk about the dynamics of capital so we have taken that equation in which capital is on the left hand side but we have to be careful because it's not just capital there is a small dot over the capital symbol that is k dot so k dot is basically rate of change and we have translated it into its original form that is rate of change of capital over time it is equal to this the right hand side remains the same now the right hand side can be substituted because we know that the value of capital is available a uh, value of x that is the national output is available so we are putting it there so the rate of change of capital that is the left hand side remains the same 0.4 remains the same as it was the only value that is substituted is uh, capital and labor now further we have the value of labor so we substituted here here we have the value of labor which we substitute finally and the whole expression will now become this expression and this means that we have capital and time only in this equation which is a good thing for us because this will help to analyze the dynamics of capital over time here we got rid of labor here we got rid of output so in this way we are uh, get reading uh, we are getting rid of uh, those variables that we don't want in this uh, situation we only want capital and time so we have that desired situation now 
so we can now use the separable variables method so we can see that capital is now shifted here with its square root form and now uh, time variable is left on the right hand side you know that uh, we can you know simplify the power this you can do easily on your own this helped us to get rid of the square root so now the square root is also gotten rid of whereas the left hand side is now also consolidated into this form finally we can say that we are in that situation where the separable variable method is applicable because uh, capital is here only and this dt is also shifted to the right hand side so it comes on the right hand side and we have only time related variables uh, or terms on the right hand side as we have written it here in terms of k only in terms of t only so now we uh, apply the process of integration which is self-evident here with respect to capital due to the capital variable and due to time variable with respect to time on the right hand side solving this should not be a difficulty for you because you have done it before here we have power rule of integration here we have the exponential rule of integration so by applying these rules we get uh, this expression simplifying it here we have two constants of integration this is due to capital variable this is due to time part of the function and now we cluster them on the right hand side to make it one constant of uh, integration and the simplification process is continued here as you can see this you can do easily the simplification of algebra and then um, this c1 when it gets multiplied with 2 we can call it c2 and the simplification on the left hand side also continues this is the square root of capital as a function of time and the solution of this will be 10 so uh, now we are in that position where we can use the initial condition which was given and we were told that if time is equal to 0 k0 will be equal to 0 uh, will be equal to 10,000 so you can see we have substituted that value after putting t in place of uh, 0 in place of t we are putting the value of k0 which is 10,000 on the right hand side you can see this substitution uh, and simplification is taking place the value of this constant of integration is now found to be uh, 90 so this c2 value now should be substituted back where it belongs and this is where it belongs so when we substitute this value the expression will become this this expression and you know we can now simplify it because now it's easy this is the square root so we're taking we are taking a square on both sides in order to get rid of the square root because we want the actual value of k and t the original value not its square root so now the square root is shifted to the other side that becomes the square when it shifted when it is shifted to the other side and then we simplify it further which again is not a difficult thing for you uh, this is 10 square and uh, it can be written as 100 and finally we get the time path of capital um, in terms of time so we should interpret this result and in this uh, we can say that it was basically a nonlinear differential equation and it was not given uh, in, in its uh, built form we had to develop it and when we developed it by using the given uh, function of output and uh, rate of change of capital and labor we found this uh, differential equation which is solvable by using the separable variable method and the answer of it is this that is the time path or the solution of uh, capital over time so in this way we have done the economic application of the um, second method of solving the nonlinear differential equations and this second method is known as the separable variables method thank you